Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully I'll get to be able to synchronize the ITBs. I have the tool recommended from RHD on what to use for it. Uh, I have to figure out just a couple more things of fine tuning the throttle bodies and the cable. Um, but then once I have that, still bleeding the coolant, and then I'll actually be able to get to the synchronization step. It seems fairly straightforward. You start with the middle pair, and then once those are equal, which they should be, um, you move to the either of the other two pairs and then you just try to match the numbers that you get on the tool to the middle pair adjusting the set screws as you go. Once I can finally figure out the issues with the throttle cable and making sure everything's set up properly I'll really be able to get through the synchronization step and then we should be able to take the car out for a drive. So I'm attempting to show what the set screws look like for adjusting the pairs of throttle bodies. Um, down in between each set, kind of where the J-hooks are, there's a brass uh, bolt that's going to be a 6 millimeter bolt, and that's going to you know, scroll in and out to adjust how the throttle bodies are opening. Um, and then around that, there is an 8 millimeter, there's an 8 millimeter nut that's going to lock that into place. So as we're adjusting, we'll again start with the middle set and then move to the outer sets, and when we need to adjust the outer sets, we can use that brass bolt to uh, open or close the throttle body is a minimal amount and then we'll lock it in place with the 8 mil nut and all while that's going I'll keep an eye on the coolant and make sure that we're both at a good temperature in the car and that we're not you know sucking all the coolant through and we're able to have the system nice and bled. So that first start revved up to like 3,000 RPMs, and you can see inside the throttle bodies, they're not sitting closed at rest with no throttle. And then if we look at the throttle cable, you can see the cable is lifted up, and it's kind of been what I've been fighting a lot of. Looking at it from the other side, the tip of the throttle cable will actually catch on the fuel rail and then cause it to hang up, so that's the little bit of open throttle that we're stuck with right now. I do not approve of what I just did, but I zip tied that little end of the throttle cable down to the bracket. It'll hold it for now, but not a long time solution.
Okay, so what I did there, I started the car, uh, it was idling probably around 800 RPMs, um, and then, so the readings on here are by, I want to say it's kilograms per hour, so kg per hour, kilograms of air, I don't know, but anyway, um, it was reading around 8.5 or 9 uh, on the middle two ITBs, which is what you're setting it off of, so then I adjusted the ones towards the radiator first, and then went back and did the... Uh, and then did the throttle bodies closer to the firewall. Iteratively, as I raised up the front set and the rear set, uh, the RPMs did increase, and by the time I finished, it was about 15 or 1600 RPMs. Um, so that tells me that our middle set shouldn't have been pulling as much air as it was. So I have to go back to that middle set. Maybe the set screw on that one needs to be adjusted out to allow the, the middle set to be closed a little bit better to begin with and then we'll be able to sink to less air. So I think everything right now, just because of how much I did creep up the idle, it's probably pulling in uh, a base amount of air to begin with. So we'll adjust off the middle, get rid of some of that extra airflow, and hopefully lower our number on our synchrometer. So at this point, I've got the ITBs even, um, pulling vacuum through all three pairs. Um, I still think the idle is a little bit higher than what I would want it to be. So what I really need to do now, I have my laptop to run Mega Squirt to kind of check out how the tune looks. Go ahead and get that connected. Turn the car on just enough to get the power to it so that we can read through the settings. Previously I still had some errors going on, not getting the, the right uh, wideband reading. So I want to go in, double check those settings, make sure everything's as it should be. Um, and then try to see if maybe there's a way in the tune to lower that idle and to help out with uh, the fact that I need to give it a little bit of throttle input when it's cold to get the, the engine to turn on. The ITBs are almost there. We really just need to get this tune uh, reading right so that we can then get the car out on the road or to a dyno shop to get a tune for the entire driving range. Well, it looks like there's about three different places in Megasquirt that you can identify what wideband you or what O2 sensor you have, and uh, if it's a wideband or a narrowband. And I had it set to the LC2 Innovate uh, wideband in two of the locations. There was a third location that it was set to a narrowband. Um, so when I went ahead and changed that back to wideband, and then burned those settings to the controller, uh, the car did fire up first try without needing to give any throttle input. At that point, the initial idle was about 1,200 RPMs, uh, and then as the car got up to temperature, it creeped up to about 1,500 RPMs. Um, I have a little bit of wiggle room that I can push the actual, I guess, the, the arm of the throttle cable. Um, I can push that towards like the valve cover, and that'll actually lower the RPMs. So I think I have a little bit more adjustment that I can do on the mechanical side of the car. I think what I'm going to try to do is add a second spacer um, where that bracket comes in, where the throttle cable is, just to raise that up a little bit. I think that'll help with the arm clearance to the, uh, the fuel rail. So having that spacer in there will give it just a little bit more room to reach back. Um, and I, I think that should solve a lot of the problems. The wideband itself, it's still reading too low. So I might have to go through and just try to recalibrate that one more time and try to figure out what's going there. But it definitely is reading better. It's reading right. It sits right at 10, but then when I do give it some throttle, it drops down to seven. It doesn't seem like it should be that far off of a tune that it, it is going that direction. Um, but a few more things to look at. We're getting very close. Well, that feels like a pretty good spot for today. Uh, the car is running, it idles, it just idles a little bit higher than I want. Um, but I think all the throttle bodies are synced up. We'll just move that throttle stop a little bit lower just to get the RPMs down. Uh, but for now, I have the car outside for the first time in several months. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a wash. Then we'll finish up whatever we need to do to get this car road ready.